Hello everyone and welcome back to Friendly War League Season 2. I'm Domesy and this is Evolve Your Games Recap versus Legacy Clan. This is the first war matchup of the season. Uh, for those of you guys that are just tuning in for the first time, Evolve Your Game won the previous season. Uh, we beat Relic War for the finals. And we're looking to retain our title for the next season. So, as you can see, we're off to a good start. Let's check it out. Omade, name you may remember. He's a star from our previous season. This is Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 11. Um, depending on how much you've played uh, the upper levels for these wars, you'll find that they're getting harder and harder for Town Hall 10s to hit up. These defenses, they just keep getting stronger and stronger, and the Town Hall 10s haven't really been um, buffed at all, so it's just getting harder and harder to do these raids up. As you can see, he's pulled the CC from the lower side with a, I missed what that was, a giant by the looks of it, and he's got a Queen Walk starting top. So a couple of nice... Well, actually, just a single poison spell by the looks of it to uh, deal with the CC. Good thing he brought it, considering there's a lot of witches in that mix. He's distracted by skellies, so he's going to take out this... No, he's not. There's the uh, air bombs. So that was actually his plan all along. This raid had already been penciled out for him by Crunk Station, so he was aware of two seeking air mines right here. So, real good... Uh, initiative there to dispose of those earlier with a single balloon. Definitely worth the five population space. So now he's uh, trying to breach here as you can see. A couple of stray runners but he's in. Queen versus Queen. She wins with that rage on her. And now she's going to work her way towards the core camera down here we got the uh, king coming in on her and so she's got a second rage make sure he doesn't clean her up and now we're starting the second portion of the raid she's safe now that double cannon that fearsome double cannon is gone so we have bowlers witches and valks second jump spell to receive them intention is to get at all of this area uh, so here are the Valks, there's the invulnerability, and they don't quite get that, unfortunately, which means that there's all sorts of carnage happening here. He has to burn the freeze just to get rid of it. So we'll continue the raid, just the lower half left. The Queen has died. The healers have switched to this bowler here. be nice if they came down here, but... And the uh, remaining troops are just kind of going to trim out these trash buildings on the outside and wander around. A few bowlers going in. We'll fast forward that. And that's it, folks. But that's a solid 83%, 11 versus 11. Definitely a good one. Can't complain on that. Uh, let's look at one other Town Hall 11 raid. Let's look at this dip from Supra. So Supra has been tasked with cleaning this one, and it's not a max Town Hall 10 by any means, but I just wanted to showcase a minor raid here. Um, you'll see just how many troops he has left at the end of it, it's amazing, and I think he swags his Warden ability as well. So we're just trimming out this external buildings to give a nice path for the Queen here. So Queen's going to come into this compartment here. She may be in range of that Inferno, but she's going to be taking on a decent amount of defenses here. So she stepped in. Now we know she's going to go in for those after this. I didn't know if she was going to wander around, but that's nice. All right, so we're, we're in. We've got the Rage on her. She's wreaking havoc. Here comes the CC. Look at this timing. The Inferno is just on her. 
And she has to burn that ability real early because the Inferno is just in range and she's trying to clean through all of this lot. So she's got what she needs to do and she healed back from that invincibility. And now she's pretty much in the clear. So starting the next part of the raid down here. Got a king's covering for the bowlers, and they're just gonna mess up some of these buildings. But this cannon dying here means that these miners are gonna be right on top of that inferno very fast. Uh, Queen's gonna work her way around there in a danger free zone. He can let her go. And he's gonna rage through this dense area of defenses and splash damage. And also heal. So, cut through that bit. King's going to challenge them whilst they're in their spells, so he's not going to do anything. And now uh, he's going to be moving on to this Inferno. These bowlers have kept them so that they uh, are in this middle of the base. They're not coming out to the outside buildings. And the king tanked for these bowlers. So no real amount of troops used to, to trim out those buildings, just the king and the bowlers, which is very efficient. Uh, Warden ability still up here. And uh, there's millions of miners, guys. There's so much left. There's the swag spell. Everything's gone. Queen's full. Warden's full. I should think King was one of the few troops to die there. <laughs> Look at all this. So, awesome raid by Supra. Let's move on to the next one. Let's look at this 10v10 triple. We have two this war, which is real good considering how difficult it is these days. Um... This is Brando's one. This is a uh, a witch slap with the healers on the side. So similar both sides. Now as I was watching this, I couldn't believe this actually um, got the three guys to begin with. You don't think he's got many troops left, but they just keep going. They don't die. So he's lost quite a few witches off the bat here. But his kill squad gets the job done in the middle here. They take out both these infernos. And look how dense the defenses are here. This is a really, really high DPS area. He's getting so much value out of these bowlers. And if he can get these infernos fast enough before they shred all the bowlers. Very nice freeze there. The one that's not being targeted early. Alright, so that's... That core has just about been wiped. So if we look at what's actually left, he doesn't have a huge number of troops left, but there's not much splash. There's a mortar on each side, and they're going to be easily killed by the skellies. And then there's a bomb tower. That's it. There is this annoying lava hand here that's distracting the witches. But the skeletons are the ones that are just sponging for the queen here. Um working their way around the sides. So Queen's low, but the healers have switched to her. So I'm just going to fast forward this up a little bit. As you can see, those healers are now dead as well, but these witches are still pretty safe. Um, we do have the Lava Hand popped, and we do have the Splash doing work. But at this point, there is only three defenses. We still have a Queen with an ability and a healer on her. She's just going to pop the ability to clean these out, and we're going to be fine. Didn't even need it. So, well done to Brando. Nice uh, planning, just seeing how much value he get for cleaning out this part of the base. There goes the last building. Uh, and our second uh, 10v10 triple was... This one, this is Angry Neeson, and he's got a similar um, strategy here. We have the Queen Walk going, and we have uh, Witches and Bowlers again. Uh, the Healers are going to be on the Queen instead of the uh, Witches this time, so we'll see how that works for him. Uh, getting that Town Hall nice and early. If you look at this base... The Infernos are pretty cord. They don't have the moat around them, which means that the bowlers will be able to target them relatively quickly. And all of the splash again is on one side, so if they power through that part, 
with the spells, this backside is mainly going to be point defenses. So the queen's going to work her way around. We've got this horde of bowlers with a golem tanking. He's got a skeleton spell in the pot here. Let's see what he does with that. Second jump and a heal this time to, to keep him going. So as you can see, all spells are out now. There's not going to be any for the queen walk. But both infernos and all the splash. All the dangerous splash, we have the odd mortars around the outside, but those wizard towers and bomb tower are gone. And we're still pushing through the core with a few remaining troops, so that's um, a lot of value with that. Fast forward up, because the queen's going to walk this entire part. There's no air defenses to pick off the healers, and the defenses, they're not dense enough to kill her through the healers. So we know it's just going to be a matter of time, and he's going to do this just fine. So, another great raid. Well done, Angry Neeson. You do not get these 10v10 triples often. Still had the ability again. Great job. Uh, let's move on to the uh, non inferno bases now. Uh, this let's do this one this is Garen and he's going against a 0.5 base 9.5 no infernos but let's see how he does it. it's a different strategy so I wanted to showcase this so this is uh, a variation of HGHB it's the variation with peckers instead of giants so he's gonna let them dig in here now because the Queen's shooting them they're gonna dig into this wall because they want to focus her. They're not going to take a huge amount of damage with all those healers, and the healers are out of range. So he's now approaching the CC here, and this hole that they've dug in the wall, the bowlers are going to wander in, and they're also going to be pulled in by these CC troops. Well, some of them. Jumping through the core. Now he's just got the rage solely on the peck as the healers are switched to the queen here. But these peckers are still full health and they've chunked out a good portion of the base. We have a mass of hogs here on a heel taking out this area and the peckers are approaching a tesla farm now with the healers back on them. So this tesla farm is not going to be a worry. Hogs don't have to worry about that. He still has a heal and look at how many hogs he has. All three peckers still alive by the looks of it. And those bowlers, those pesky bowlers that didn't go into the base, they've just become clean-up squad. Looks like we have a troll Tesla in the corner. Yep, all three peckers still going strong. Wizards, full health heroes. Let's crush this base. Guarantee for Evolve Your Game, going strong. Alright, moving to the nines. Okay, so we have, what's that, five witches and healers on both sides? So a lot of witches. So Town Hall 9s don't have access to bowlers, so he's just brought a whole bunch of healers, uh, a whole bunch of witches. And the goal here is to take out the splash early again. He's going to get the Tesla farm with it too, whilst the golem is tanking. Here come the bowlers, they have nowhere else to go but this jump spell. And the queen hasn't gone inside the base, which isn't ideal for this CC. But he's got double poisons to make sure that baby drag goes down. And there are all the wizards. So that never stood a chance. So we've got this massive push going through the base. And we have stray skeletons on the both sides. The left side is very strong with witches still. 
And looking at the base now, again, just point defenses. There's air defenses, but there's only point defenses really inside the walls. And that means that these witches are going to be able to cause destruction. They're never going to die. The skeletons are just too much for the cannons. Because they'll be, look at this, they'll just be focused on them forever. And we see, still have this core buster squad in the middle here. So we'll fast forward that, there's no way that's surviving this. Queen spell, uh, Queen's ability still there. Real strong from No Surrender as well. Uh, next strategy we're going to look at is from Lewis D. Uh, this is one of the lopsided air defense spaces. We've got all four on one side and then a very tight cluster of anti-air towers and wizard towers. So we've got triple golems coming in from the bottom. A whole bunch of wizards. The goal here is actually to get at least three of the air defenses, if not all. So he's breached the first wall segment, and we can see this wizard and this golem are tag teaming to take out this. He's got the jump in, the funnel is created on the left side, and here come the bowlers. Heroes are in, the bowlers are in, and the CC is going to be taken care of. So once these air defenses and this CC are gone, Assuming the queen dies, there is nothing that's going to be able to stop them. So let's watch the queen here. She's locked onto the golem. And now she's dead. So their job is done. Let's see the air portion. It's going to take out these external defenses. He even has a lava hand for this, guys, in case there was that air defense still. So that's going to be tanking for the majority of these defenses anyway. He does have one haste. And uh, as you can see, the queen has taken out half the base as well. He's got the ability off. The balloons actually didn't have a whole lot to do. There's going to be one more to left. Don't think there's any troll Teslas in this one. Nope. And uh, yeah, full health uh, balloons. Well, some of them. Lava hands not popped. It's mainly down to time on whether they can clean up at this point, so we'll fast forward just to show the end. There is a baby drag working its way on the other side, and the queen was there to help out still. So, that's your last building. We're done here. Well done, Lewis. Well thought out raid. Uh, we've got a couple more to look at from the Town Hall 9s. This is Alex. Starting with the Queen Walk on the 9 o'clock side. And there's a funneling dragon to uh, cut it off here. Make sure she doesn't go past that point. And in the, in the bag here we have a golem, some hogs, and presumably some bowlers in the CC. Queenie's going to take out these two buildings. Here's the ability. And now she's going to work her way along the bottom where he's going to deal with these. Priority uh, targets for a hog raid. You want to get that CC. You want to get that queen. And wizard towers are pretty helpful as well. So here comes the CC lure. That's going to pull it out. Queen has just died. Here's the CC out. Looks like the uh, king is over here cleaning out this squadron here with a couple of golems and bowlers. So Queenie is actually taking a different route. She's going to take this portion out and the bowlers and golems are going to take out this area. And we have 11 hogs and 2 heals for the rest. So the bowlers are set in this little spot here. There goes some of the Teslas. And one heal has been extended, expended on this kill squad section. 
So we have one heal for the hogs. And here they come. They're coming in on the point defenses on this east side. Uh, Queenie's still strong. She's full health walking her way around. Nothing's really going to kill her at this point. So Hogs just clean out these remaining defenses. There's the heal spell. We do still have a bunch of bowlers digging away at this hole. And we have a whole bunch of cleanup troops on this area. So look at those hogs. Plenty left. They're all done here. Let's speed it up. Awesome job. Uh, let's take a look at matrixes right here. So we've got to go her twenty one hog raid. The funnel's been partially cut off over here and we have a breach in this wall so this section of the funnel is great queen's going to deal with that and so he's lent his bowlers in slightly so that they don't get distracted by anything here there's nothing going to pull them in so we're going straight for that jump spell enemy queen is dead cc is dead here come the hogs He's got two heals to make it around the base. So there's the first one. And as you can see, Tesla Farm just popped up. So he's having to use the remaining hogs and get the heal down real quickly here. So that is actually both of his heal spells already used. And he still has this part of the base to clear. Fortunately, since he cleared out this flanking side, his kill squad haven't taken a whole lot of damage. And they're going to help assist this final part. And he's actually very healthy on troops still. Level 30 queen still going in. Bowler and the golems here. And he still has the ability in hand, so... Let's nuke this base as well. Let's let him clean up the remains. And that's Matrix 3 starring Bork from Legacy Clan. So overall, some great raids. I think we did well. Um, not the best war for me personally. Um, but my clan mates really carried us through this. Uh, 85 stars with uh, just these top few bases. Missed the second star on this one. And it was actually quite unfortunate if you watched the replay. But uh, yeah. Real good war from us. Looking forward to next week. Let's keep the momentum going. Well done, Evolve Your Game. And see you next time.